In the previous video lesson we learned how to convert toluene to benzyl alcohol. And in this video lesson let us understand how to convert propene to propyne. Have a proper look at the given compounds to us. Propene which is a member of alkene has to be converted into propyne which is a member of alkyne means double bonded compound should be converted into triply bonded compound let us see how we carry on this process first let us write the structure of propene so this is the structure of propene CH3 CH double bond CH2 this is the structure of propene now this has to be converted into propyne that is CH3 C triple bond CH now this has to be done let us see how we can bring about this conversion propene is first subjected to either bromination or chlorination that means addition reaction in presence of an inert solvent like carbon tetrachloride or this can be brought about even in presence of carbon disulfide as well bromination or chlorination anything we can bring about to be done in presence of uh, inert solvent let me say I am carrying out the process of bromination. Now what will happen? Addition reaction will take place in the places of double bond. One bromine will take an attachment with this carbon. Another bromine will take an attachment with this carbon. So let us see what will be the product we land up when bromine gets added. CH3 single bond CH. There goes one bromine and this will be now Instead of double bond, it becomes a saturated hydrocarbon because it's under, undergoing addition reaction. Then CH2, then Br. That means we landed up in the formation of numbering should go from our right to left. So 1 comma 2 dibromopropane. So, we landed up in the formation of 1 comma 2 dibromopropane. Now, this being our material, we need to obtain from this the product of our requirement namely propyne. Once we land up in this product, it is quite easy for us to obtain propyne. Just we need to subject that compound that is 1 comma 2 dibromopropane to the process of dehydrohalogenation. And in the previous video lesson, you learned which compound will act as very good dehydrohalogenating agent. Yes, you are right. We are talking with respect to alcoholic KOH. That means alcoholic potash will act as very good dehydrohalogenating agent. Now what happens? Hydrogen from here and Br from here. This hydrogen from here and Br from here. That means the removal of two molecules of hydrogen halide will take place from this carbon. There is removal of only one hydrogen from this end. So let us see what will be the product that we are going to land up in. These two Brs will combine with this K, 2K and then gets converted into 2KBr. Then these two molecules of OH will combine with two molecules of H and forms two molecules of water. So like that, two molecules of water goes out. Then what is that we are left with? CH3 linked with single bond carbon. And with this carbon there is only one hydrogen. Now in order to balance themselves, this carbon and this carbon will get linked by triple covalent bond. So therefore, we landed up in the formation of propyne. C 
since the locant is one, whether you mention it or not, it does not carry any importance. Either you can tell it as one propyne or propionine or simply as propyne. So therefore, we obtain from propene the product of our requirement propyne and that has taken in two steps. Let me just go through quick repetition. Propene is subjected to bromination in presence of inert solvent like carbon tetrachloride. Then this propene will undergo addition reaction resulting in the formation of 1,2 dibromopropane. Now this 1,2 dibromopropane is subjected to dehydrohalogenation by treating it with alcoholic potash to get propyne the product of our requirement. So do please watch all of the videos about how to convert one particular organic compound into another one. This series of how to convert will be of great use to all the students who would be writing the board exams as well as the entrance exam.